diagnosis. A detailed physical examination as well as specialized tests may be required to diagnose Crohn's disease. Blood tests check for anemia, which could indicate intestinal bleeding. Blood tests may also show a high white blood cell count, which is a sign of inflammation. A stool sample test will let the doctor know if there is bleeding or infection in the intestines. To look at the small intestine, the doctor may do a test called an upper gastrointestinal series or upper GI series. The patient drinks barium, a chalky liquid that coats the inside of the small intestine, then x-rays are taken. Barium shows up white on x-ray film, making any abnormalities stand out. To see the inside of the large intestine, the doctor may do a colonoscopy. A long, flexible, lighted tube called an endoscope is inserted into the anus. The endoscope is hooked to a camera that shows any inflammation or bleeding. During a colonoscopy, the doctor may do a biopsy. A biopsy is a sample of tissue taken from the lining of the intestine to look at under a microscope. If tests show Crohn's disease, more x-rays of the upper and lower digestive tract may be necessary to see what areas the disease affects. Treatment Options Treatment for Crohn's disease aims at controlling inflammation, correcting nutritional deficiencies, relieving symptoms. Treatment may include medication, nutrition supplements, surgery, or a combination of any of these. Treatment can help control Crohn's disease, but unfortunately there is no cure. Some Crohn's disease patients do not have symptoms for months or years. However, symptoms usually come back several times throughout life. Since the disease comes and goes randomly, it is hard to tell if treatment has helped. Patients with Crohn's disease may need medical care for a long time with regular doctor visits to monitor their condition. Inflammation due to Crohn's disease may be controlled with anti-inflammatory medications. Steroids and mesalamine-containing drugs are such medications. Sulfasalivine is the most commonly used mesalamine-containing medication. These drugs can cause side effects such as nausea, vomiting, heartburn, diarrhea, headache. Drugs that hold back the immune system are also used to treat Crohn's disease. These medications work by blocking the immune reaction that leads to inflammation. These include the following medications. 6-mercaptopurine and azathioprine. Antibiotics may be used to treat bacteria growing in the small intestines. TNF, or tumor narcosis factor, is a specific chemical in the body that may cause inflammation associated with Crohn's disease. A new generation of medications that act against TNF is now available for the treatment of resistant Crohn's disease. They include infliximab or Remicade. Diarrhea and abdominal pain are usually relieved when inflammation goes down, but more medication may be necessary. Medications to reduce diarrhea are sometimes used. Patients who are dehydrated due to diarrhea are treated with fluids and electrolytes. Surgery to remove part of the intestine can help Crohn's disease but cannot cure it. The inflammation tends to return next to the area of intestine that has been removed. Many Crohn's disease patients need surgery either to relieve symptoms or to correct complications such as blockage, perforation, fistulae, abscesses, or bleeding in the intestine. Some people who have Crohn's disease in the large intestine need to have their entire colon removed in an operation called colectomy. A colostomy, which reroutes the intestines to an opening in the abdomen, may also need to be performed at that time. The doctor may recommend nutritional supplements, especially for children who have not grown to full potential. Special high-calorie liquid drinks are sometimes used. Rarely, patients with Crohn's disease need to be fed intravenously through an IV for a while. This provides extra nutrition and a rest for the intestines. Nutrition No special diet has been proven effective for preventing or treating Crohn's disease. 
Some people find their symptoms are made worse by milk, alcohol, hot spices, fiber. People who have Crohn's disease should follow a nutritious diet and avoid any foods that seem to worsen symptoms. It is best to ask a doctor before taking vitamin supplements. Pregnancy. Crohn's disease does not usually affect pregnancy, but even so, women who have Crohn's disease should talk to their doctor before getting pregnant. Most children born to women who have Crohn's disease are unaffected by the disease. Summary: People with Crohn's disease may feel well and have no symptoms for long periods of time when the disease is not active. There are various treatment options for people with Crohn's disease, which are usually successful at reducing symptoms when the disease is active. People who have Crohn's disease may need to take medication or occasionally be hospitalized. Even so, they are usually still able to hold jobs, raise families, and function successfully at home and in society.